A lot of people have heard about Cofactor in recent weeks because of your relationship with Y Combinator. Yeah. What has that experience been like, and what does it mean for, for Cofactor moving forward? Um, and y Combinator has been uh, amazing, a real game changer for us. So we've been a successful company for six years now, um, cash flow positive, generated a lot of revenue. Really what Y Combinator has done is uh, enable us to take our business to the next level, and that's what we're trying to do. Not only did we meet with a lot of very smart people who have had huge success helping to build you know, household companies with household names like Airbnb and Dropbox, those are YC companies. Um, so a lot of small people, smart people helping us to build our business, but also the people that they can introduce us to. So a lot of people in the, in the healthcare big data space, uh, particularly in genomics, are focusing on how DNA is ultimately going to help us be a healthier society. You guys are looking at it more from the RNA standpoint. Can you talk a little bit about that? For sure. So DNA uh, uh, is the blueprint of life, and it doesn't change from birth. So it, it can only give you an estimate of your risk for disease. Um, RNA, on the other hand, changes all the time. It's in every cell in your body, and it's constantly changing in response to your diet, exercise, infection, and most importantly, disease. Um, so we can look at RNA and use that as an indicator, an early indicator for disease. And so. You can imagine going to your doctor's office uh, and um, they uh, take a blood sample, send it to us, and um, we can use that to, uh, to detect disease far earlier uh, than, uh, than uh, your doctor can using traditional techniques. So um, people have been talking about a project you're working on the San Diego Zoo with the white rhinos. Tell us a little bit about that. So that's uh, something we're really excited about. Uh, DNA and RNA technology for human health is really important, but we're also working with them to try to um, save the white rhino. So this is a species many of you probably heard of. There is uh, four left now and really only one male, and so it's an extremely endangered population. And some very smart people at the San Diego Zoo realized that we might be able to look at the, uh, the genetic material in those rhinos to try to help save those rhinos and see whether it was feasible um, to use science to, um, to actually kind of build that population back up. So we've been really excited and fortunate to be working with the San Diego Zoo uh, to try to save the white rhino, the northern white rhino.